So I've been asked to make a video about the scams in Istanbul. So none of these have actually happened to me, but I've heard from people and I've actually seen them happen. So firstly, these are in no order, they can happen anytime, but number one, I'll start with taxi drivers. So the taxi driver scams is not just taking you a different direction, but also it's the changing money scam. So if you're in a taxi, make sure you it's run by the meter and make sure that you give them the correct money. For Because for example, if the fare is 25 or something and you give them a 100 lira note, they might quickly swap it and then show you a 20 saying, hey, this is only 20. And because you may not be familiar with the currencies, you may believe them and say, okay, we only gave him 20 and gave him a bit more. So this has happened to quite a few people. So make sure you have some change before you get in the taxi or even better use BitTaxi or Uber. Number two is the shoe shiner scams. So in the tourist areas of Istanbul, you'll see these guys who are shining shoes, but not the ones who are in a fixed location because those guys are legit. So if you want to go get your shoes shined by them, please do. They're making a living, honest living like everybody else. So, But the ones who are walking about, they have like a sort of a little box thing um, for people to put their shoes on and they have a brush there. So what they'll do is they'll see a tourist and they'll walk in front of them and they'll drop the brush. So of course most people will pick up the brush and say, hey, you dropped your brush. So when you do that, the guy will act like, oh, thank you, thank you. And then he'll quickly sit down, take your shoe and start shining it. And then after he's done shining it, he'll expect you to give, them, give him money. So if you're walking and you see a guy drop his brush in front of you, just ignore it because he knows that he's dropped it and he's doing it just to reel you in and try to get some money from you. Okay, so number three is probably one of the most well-known scams here, but you should be aware of it. So it generally happens in the Taksim area, in Istiklal Street, and it generally happens to males. But say you're walking, some guy will approach you who is Turkish, but he'll be like, hey, I just, I'm from Cyprus or another country. Generally, they do it by starting, like asking you the time. So they'll say, hey, what's the time? Or I might even say in Turkish, what's the time? And then you'll reply, oh, I don't know, or whatever, tell him the time. And he'll be like, hey, I just finished work. Um, what are you doing here? He'll try and make some small talk with you. And then he'll be like, if you want, I'm going to go get a drink. Would you like to join me at a bar? I know a bar. So if you agree to go with him, you'll be taken to a bar and he knows all the people there. So you'll sit, you guys will have drinks or something. And then suddenly some girls will sit next to you. And then maybe you'll drink more. They'll put fruit there or some nuts in front of you. And then when you like finish your drinks and your uh, whatever and then you try to pay they'll present you with the bill and this bill can go up to I've heard crazy stories of like 500 euros and you know like crazy amounts you know thousands of liras you know and if you don't pay it these big security guards will come and they'll say hey, you have to pay it even if you don't have cash on you they'll ex ex uh, they'll take you to the ATM and they'll expect you to pay so just be careful and um, a lot of people have approached me, even when I first arrived here, like, you know, a lot of people approach me, but of course, you have to be a bit streetwise, you know, don't, don't go with a random person. So yeah, these guys will, they'll make you pay. If you don't pay, they're probably going to beat you up. So um, yeah, don't go to any strangers, you know, it's, it's common sense, but when you're in a foreign country, especially if you're on your own traveling, you might fall for it because these guys seem friendly and stuff, but the guy will be disappeared as soon as the bill comes. Or he might even say, oh, let's do half, half, you know, I'll pay half, you pay half. But he's in on it, you know, they're, they're making their money. So even this bar scam, the, there's a travel vlogger called, I think, Gabriel Travel or something. And he, even he fell for it. And this guy has been, you know, hundreds of countries, you know, like he goes all over the world. And like when I saw his Turkish video, I was like, wow, man, this guy actually fell for that. It's like, so, you know, the guy seems very genuine who's trying to reel you in, who's trying to take you to the bar or something. So, yeah, whoever asks, just don't go to them. Because if someone like that, who's traveled like most countries in the world, can <laughs> can fall for it, like, you know, you might be, you know, you might try to go with a guy because he's being friendly to you. But don't go with any strangers. Even the shoe shiners, whenever they drop her in front of me, I'm like, hey, mate, you dropped your, you dropped your brush. <laughs> <laughs> and just give him a smile so you know what's happening. So these are the main uh, scams. There's another scam which I I don't know actually anybody has happened to, but I have heard of it. It's like in a restaurant they'll charge you extra or something. 
So if the if if the price looks a bit too much, just ask for a Turkish menu because they may get one for you know tourists and one for locals. But um, I think this is quite a, a, a rare scam. So um, yeah, I wouldn't be too wary of most like restaurants in these areas you're visiting. The last one is it doesn't happen a lot, and it's probably not going to happen in the areas you visit as a tourist. But if you're living here is um, the fake police scam. This happened to a friend of mine and this guy in a suit and stuff and he had a police hat and stuff said oh I'm police what are you, do you doing here this and that and tried to you know try to um, extort some money out of him but he didn't fall for it so but as a tourist in the places you're gonna go that's not gonna happen in these um, you know these touristic areas. Hope that was helpful thank you for watching.